Welcome to one of our Alpha Laval 360 degree service and maintenance videos. With Alpha Laval service, you maximize the reliability and uptime of your equipment. In this video, we will show you how to replace a service kit in an Alpha Laval agitator with D seal using genuine Alpha Laval spare parts. Whenever possible, demount the agitator from the tank before dismantling any parts. How to replace a service kit in an agitator with D-seal? Start by removing the flush connections. Then remove the guards from the lantern. Move the oil trap and the O-rings along the shaft. Loosen the pointed screw on the seal housing. Move the rotary seal housing and the rotary seal part carefully along the shaft. Next, remove the prevent valve. Mount the retainer bolt in the hole of the prevent valve to lock the shaft into place. Turn the shaft until the holes align. Then insert the retainer bolt into the holes and tighten the bolt with your hand. Remove the shaft bolt. Remove the coupling. Dismantle the shaft by mounting the extractor bolt tool. Keep turning the extractor bolt until the shaft is forced from the bearing frame. Carefully remove the shaft and the rotary seal parts, avoiding contact. Ensure that the rotary seal housing and the rotary seal part do not fall when removing the shaft. Remove the seals with inner O-rings. Next, remove the inner O-ring. Mark the position on the agitator flange. Remove the flange. Remove the stationary seal housing. Next, remove the nuts that secure the stationary seal housing. Remove the stationary seal housing and then remove the stationary seal part. Next, remove the O-ring, springs, drive rings and retainer ring. Clean the seal surfaces using alcohol to make sure that they are completely clean prior to seal replacement.
place the rotary seal part into the counter ring without the O-ring to check that the height of the pins is correct. Make sure that the seal part does not rock more than shown here. Mount the O-ring on the rotary seal part. Lubricate with water. Mount the rotary seal part on the shaft. Now, place the rotary seal part into the rotary seal housing ring without the O-ring to check that the height of the pins is correct. Make sure that the seal part does not rock more than shown here. Mount the O-ring on the rotary seal part. Lubricate with water to slide it easily into place. Place the rotary seal part into the seal housing. Gently press the seal part into place. Replace the inner O-ring of the rotary seal housing. Replace the O-ring, springs, drive rings and retainer ring in the stationary seal housing. Then remount the seal housing. Check the tension of the springs. Mount the O-rings on the stationary seal. Lubricate with water. Place the stationary seal parts in the flange. Check that the taps of the drive ring are properly positioned. Gently press the stationary seal parts into place. Mount the agitator flange. Gently place the shaft into the flange. Gently place the rotary seal housing onto the shaft. Now mount the O-ring and the oil trap onto the shaft.
continue to position the shaft on the bearing frame. Turn the shaft until the pin in the bearing frame and the keyway on the shaft fit together. Mount the couplings on the pins. Then mount the shaft bolt. Tighten the shaft bolt with the correct torque as indicated in the instruction manual. Adjust the placement of the seal housing according to the instruction manual. Ensure that the clearance between the rotary seal housing and stationary seal housing is in accordance to the guidelines in the manual. Tighten the pointed screw. Now place the oil trap ring and the O-rings into their final positions. Mount the flush connections with a threaded gasket. Remove the retainer bolt from the bearing frame. Mount the prevent valve. Finally, remount the guards on the lantern. To maintain the Alpha Laval agitator as shown, these tools are required. Always remember to read the instruction manual thoroughly to make sure that you cover all of the maintenance steps. This video only shows you some of the steps. Thank you for watching.